Hello everyone, SD guy here, and we're continuing off where we left off, which is tracking down Kellogg and killing Kellogg. First of all, we gotta level up. I kinda mixed <laughs> missed from all my talk to level up, and uh, I'm gonna pick up the rifle. Yeah, rifle, because I do have a rifle in my hands, and it's not. It's not a full automatic rifle, so there's kind of no point in me having. Look, you're pissed off, I get it, I do. But whatever you hope to accomplish in here, it's not gonna go your way. Listen, Kellogg, why don't you just, you know, get out, put hands behind your back, give me a gun, let me point that gun, you know, behind your fucking head, and let me shoot. Okay? How about that? you agree on that? I think we can make a great agreement on that. I, I personally think we have a great agreement on that. I just picked up a fucking thing that I didn't <laughs> Oh, that was kind of that was kind of dark, but I, in the end um hey, um he did kill he did take our child. Although I have to say like that and I still hate the fucking it's backstory. It's admirable. <laughs> But I have to say, like, we're gonna, we're gonna have to stick to character this time, because this is a very emotional thing. This is a very, very emotional thing in part, of the, emotional part of the game, where we kill the man who killed, uh, uh, who have taken our child. We get to that part, and it is very emotional. And I do admit that I'm going to accept that part, and I'm gonna play along with it. Either way, uh, on other things, no, the no. Man, he keeps locking things up. Oh, is this look like a president's office? <laughs> if it is, then damn. Mr. President, I have grave news. America is in ruins. <laughs> or something like that. Um, med kits? Oh, it's an box. Sure, that's useful too. Fusion man, we get a lot of uh, we get a lot of fusion cells. Okay, you made it. I'm just up ahead. My synths are standing down. Let's talk. Oh, you want to talk, motherfucker, huh? First of all, this seems kind of a set instead of a presidential office, just because uh, the camera and a health bed and this kind of places here. So I kind of or. It could be the president's office. I don't know. Hmm. Could be both. I just, I just simply don't know. Okay, I don't know. Uh, anyways, let's go kill Kellogg. Shall we? I think we shall. There she is. The most resilient woman in the Commonwealth. So, here we are. Funny, huh? Enough. Just. Where is my baby? <laughs> Lady, I'm just a puppet like you. My stage is a little bigger, that's all. Sean's a good kid. So maybe he's not quite a baby anymore, but he's doing great. Only, he's not here. He's with the people pulling the strings. God damn it, you mercenary motherfucker! Where Whoa, watch the language. Son. What's the cliche? So close, but yet so far away? <laughs> That's Sean. But don't worry. You'll die knowing he's safe and happy. A bit older than you expected, but ah oh well. At least he's in a loving home. The Institute. Of course, the Institute. So where is it, huh? This institute? How do I get there? <laughs> Haven't you been paying attention? You don't find the institute. The institute finds you. You open the closet, it's just a closet. You can never find the monster that hides inside. Not until it jumps out at you. But I think we've been talking long enough. 
We both know how this has to end. So, you ready? In a hundred years, when I finally die, I only hope I go to hell so I can kill you all over again, you piece of shit. <laughs> As you can see, he can be invisible. Now I'm sorry I was quiet. My my grandma just came in the, into the room, and I had to shut down. Tech. You were barely human. I had to, uh, you know, mute the mic. Anyways, as we as we heard it, Sean is apparently not a little baby anymore and he seems to be taken by the Institute which is of course very bad very 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 bad <laughs> but then again we're going to save him so this Kellogg he is a mercenary and our character doesn't know you know be a little bit disgraced you know watch the language but then again I am you know <laughs> I do not watch my own language, so I have no rights to correct her or to you know scold her. Anyways, we did find some very interesting things. Some cybernetics, as she as we you know, as our character said. And it seems like Kellogg's one was not that much uh, human as we thought he was. We kinda took a lot of things from his head, I think, and some implants. It, you know, kind of boosts your ability to greater levels, greater levels, should I say, but at the same time, can, uh, you can be able, you're going to be, like, controlled by others, basically. Now, what, what else do I have to do? Like, view the log? Hmm, maybe. Oh yep, I had to. Okay. Okay, let's go. Let's go talk with uh, with Nick. Let's go talk with Nick here, cause he might have some have some uh, things. He might have he might have some uh, you know his own theories about things and where the institute can hide. We're gonna have to see. Also, we're gonna have to see and uh, join the. Join the Brotherhood of Steel. Well, not actually join, but continue our um, advancements in the Brotherhood of Steel faction quests. Which I think we're gonna get now. Uh, we're gonna have to hear. Uh, we're gonna have to see some gunships and then like a radio station. I think. Oh, it's not a radio station. It's an army station 95, or is it an army signal 95? And. Uh, That's when we're going to. Yep, there is. Now we're gonna get the uh, army army signal 95 A 95, I think it's called. And uh, we're gonna you know hear from um, Dennis to go to the police station and join on this one these uh, warships. This should be now a station. Not yet. Oh. Ah, there is military fre frequency AF ninety five. Come in, dance. dance yep, Paladin dance. Okay, first of all, we're not gonna do that. For, uh... For first of all, we're gonna go and talk to... Nick. After we finish talk... 
after we finish talking to Nick, then we're going to go to the police station and talk to Paladin Dance. Oh. I can't remember what's after this. I honestly can't. I kind of forgot. I haven't played the Fallout. I, again, I've beaten the game like a month ago, two months ago maybe, not really sure. And I kind of just stopped touching it. Un unless I'm recording for an episode, I kind of stopped touching it. But we're gonna see now how much I ever missed out on. Or uh, actually how much I've forgotten. Some key points I haven't forgotten, but some minor points I have. Oh, wow, you're tall. Um, thanks, I guess. Schoolhouse, oh, okay, great, that's cool. Oh, okay. damn it! You have to get, you have to give a new call to that dude who cannot drink liquor anymore. She's my client, Piper. Why don't you learn not to snoop on a woman's private affairs? Well, well, speak of the devil. You're back, and not with your son. What happened? Horrible things, man. Horrible things, but uh. You're right. You were right, Nick. Kellogg took my baby. That wasn't all. He was working with the Institute. He... He gave them Sean. The Institute? Oh, boy. I'm sorry, friend. Truly. That makes things considerably more complicated. No yep. Kidding. Heck, Nick's a synth, and even he doesn't know how to get in. No synth does. Security protocols strip those memories out. Hmm. Well, uh, I need a way, man. Find a way. I need a way. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night. And sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day... There's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is. Or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. He had yeah, access? That would have had access. In and out. Yeah, but I'm guessing he wasn't the surrender and talk type, was he? Oh no, we had to... <laughs> No. He's no. dead. <laughs> no. So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. <sighs> what so, now? What now? Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brain. You know, we may not need the man at all. What are uh, you talking crazy, about, Valentine? Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happen. Whoa. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari, the mind behind the memories. Whoa. <laughs> now that's some crazy... Crazy shit right there. But... That's a good idea. Let's see. I guess we're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's <laughs> no, really a choice to have. <laughs> Got no leads. Nothing. That's true. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. Uh. Actually. Well, I already have something. I think I already have something. Kellogg had this, this thing. Attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? We may have just won the lottery. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth. So, who's coming with you? I have to go to the memory den either way, if I'm going to introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together, just say so. I'll head there on my own. All right. See you at the den. Don't worry. 
We're gonna get your boy back. Just a few more steps. Uh, well, you two are out. I'm gonna do some more research. I'll be at the public if you need me. And by the way, at some point, you owe me an interview. I want to hear how this whole story got started. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna talk to you, Piper, just because I'm gonna be tempted to come to make you as my companion, and I really don't want to. <laughs> Because we're joining the Brotherhood of Steel, and Brotherhood of Steel kind of has some use that Piper doesn't like that much. But, uh, Most folks are just we're gonna go to the, uh, please, the, guys, oh, thank you, <laughs> thank you very much. Uh, we're gonna go to the police station, and that's where I'm gonna end the episode. Uh, first of all, no, no, yes. Where are you? There you go. Cambridge police station. Yes. Let's travel there. And that's where we're gonna end the episode. Now this was some really interesting episode. Apparently there's technology to relieve your memories, which is you know kinda cool and kinda dangerous. Now why dangerous? Well because you can you can fall into depression because you've seen all the happy things. You just kinda become sad, depressed because there is no happy things left. No happy memories, nothing. And that you know that's kind of the bad things when you when you relive your memories, but that's kind of also a good thing. You don't forget about the people, about the things, about you know you, the events that happened in your past because you're reliving them. So yeah, I guess it's like a it's a good thing. It's more of a good thing than a bad thing, just because you have the chance to relive the memories. Okay, that's just like that's why it has more good than bad. <laughs> just because of that. So this is the Brahu of Steel. They have a nuke launcher. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment. I really appreciate the support. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.